Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Opal. Last episode we got the 5th gym bag, defeated the ghost type leader who really did not want to battle us, she really didn't want to do any work at all. Uh, we're now going to go to the prison to go interrogate Derringer with Apollo. So let's head over here and we can now head inside. Go and see all the criminals in here. Hey, oh, oh the professor's here as well. Foxy, why are you here? Wait, you two already know each other? We do. Foxy is, how to put it, my disciple. I helped him take his first step as a trainer. Oh, what a small world. Ibano was a professor of mine in college. He taught me Pokemon psychology. And you were my best student. I knew you'd go far. Let's not start sucking on the Weedles just yet. Uh, we're in for a very uh, tough interrogation. Okay, sounds good. This is Cliff, the person in charge of security at Caligine Prison. Professor Ibano will help me uh, determine if Derringer is truly insane. As for you, Voltsy, uh, you'll lend me a helping hand with your trainer talents if things turn sour. Wait, how? What? Uh, did the prisons have Pokemon here or something? I don't, I don't see how I'm going to be of any help, but okay. <laughs> Anything in the trash? Hey, got a rare candy. Nice. Prisoner's trying to smuggle in some uh, some candy, it seems. Alright. Oh, we got Giratina. Looking so cool. I like the music here as well, but let's not look around here. Okay. Guess we have to keep going forward, maybe? Let's go up this way. Oh, not that way. This way, maybe? Nope. Okay, so to the left. Hey. Wow, so it's true about the Dust Noir. They are commendable jailers. They give off an energy that leaves the prisoners in a permanent state of lethargy. A bargain. Also, when a prisoner proves to have zero capacity for redemption, the Dust Noir perform a soul absorption on him. Oh, wow. You know what this is, don't you? I know what it is. The truth is, it is a measure that I do not approve of. But I am not responsible for what is done within the walls of this prison. The room we'll use for interrogation is at the end of this corridor. My colleagues are removing a Derringer from his cell with extreme caution. That Derringer must be a really dangerous guy. He's a complete nutcase. We haven't taken severe measures against him because of the government's orders. Interesting. I was unaware of that fact. Oh, okay. Hey, oh. Can't speak to the prisoners, it seems. And walk right through the dust noir. Everything is ready. I wish you luck. Excuse me, is he, is he coming in too? Me? Yes, he's my partner. Hey. Perfect. No problem then. In we go. Here it is. Better behave yourself in front of the guests. Don't be fooled by his harmless appearance, Voltsy. Derringer is a first-rate psychopath. Good morning, Derringer. I'm Apollo, Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security. I'm accompanied by my assistant Voltsy and Professor Urbano. We have a few questions to ask you. But first of all, how do you feel? Prison life is kind of bleak, you know? But I'm getting used to it. Alright, so let's start from the beginning. You're the founder and spiritual leader of Team Gatling. Many take you for a messiah. How did you manage to indoctrinate so many people? Indoctrinate? Come on, come now. You convince them to turn to the bad life and become criminals. You threw them away. They were all citizens of Sapphira, and you turned your back on them. I picked them up and told them that they had a chance to build their own future. I was the first one to look them in the face and say, Come on, mate, you can do better than this. Do you really believe that people do evil for the sake of it? Any psychiatrist knows perfectly well that there is no such thing as intrinsic evil. There's only the survival instinct. Aren't you ashamed of yourselves? You let thousands of your, of your children grow up on the streets, homeless. You hoard the wealth and suck the blood of the workers. And are you surprised to be breeding monsters? You end up being captured for the, the attack on the Pokemon League seven years ago. A bomb in the stadium killed hundreds of people and people in Pokemon. How about that? Was it also an act of survival? The role of Team Gatling was never proven. Why not? An investigation was carried out and incriminating evidence was found. You're a coward. You're not capable of assuming the consequences of your actions. Coward me? What's the biggest obstacle you've had in your life, Apollo, Deputy Secretary of Security? Pass a competitive exam? Who would you be if you had grown up in a slum in Sirocco Town? Apollo the Dump? Apollo the Smuggler? And you, Cliff, 
Your father is the ex-sheriff of Caligine City. Are you here on your own merits too? Have you earned them by working hard? Do you want me to give him a correcting, Apollo? To just answer the questions without any further comments. No, let him speak. Let's get to the key issue, Derringer. Are you trying to reform Team Gatlin from jail? Of course. Are you surprised by my sincerity? Why would I lie to you? My truth is very simple. And what is that truth? I've been chosen by the Astral Pokemon. He has spoken to me in dreams over the years to entrust me with an important mission. That's why I have to get out of here as soon as possible. The world depends on it. What mission? What is that Pokemon Astral telling you? Something is approaching our world in infinite darkness. When it begins to be unnoticed, which will not take long, an unbearable cold will invade the planet. The land will turn black and barren, and neither humans nor Pokemon will ever see sunlight again, unless I do something about it. Are we really going to keep listening to this nonsense? He's pulling our leg. You know, I'm, I'm starting to think that this guy's probably... I mean, he's a little bit bad because of Team Gatlin, but not all that bad. Because he wants to save the world, it seems. And then if it wasn't proven, like completely proven that he was the one for the bombing, I don't know, but he's pulling our leg. Let, let's let him explain himself, as strange as it may seem to us. And how will you prevent that global catastrophe? Sinking the government of Sapphira? Balancing the scales is only a means to my true end. Must mean I must meet with the astral Pokemon and reach the land of the gods together. Only then will I have a chance to face what is to come. And why do you have to be the one in charge of that task? The astral Pokemon only communicates with those humans who possess an exceptional spirit. And he chose me. Uh, oh. Oh, time is running out. Are you alright, Foltsy? What's that? Don't tell me you hear the voices too. They take some at getting used to at first, but eventually they become part of you. Don't put nonsense in his head. Let's move on to the latest events. Uh, how was Team Gatling planned to release you? The idea was to create an explosion in the, the building using a shipment of Poke Essence. I understand you stopped them and they failed. That's right, they failed. What will you do now? Congratulate you. That was Team Gatling's last resort. So what are you going to do? Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. You're right, you lost long ago. We're done for now, you're free to go. So what do you think of Bano? Is he totally crazy? It's strange. He does not present the typical profile of a madman. It's as if he empirically believes what he says, knowing that he will take him for a lunatic. And what does that mean? What, is he telling us the truth with that Pokemon Astral and the end of the world thing? It doesn't necessarily mean that. He may simply be an extremely manipulative person, capable of even manipulating his own mind. Remember, Apollo? The only thing that distances you from me is being born with a different poker hand. Don't compare me to you, scumbag. Had I been born in harsh conditions, I would have come out, uh, come out of it upholding the law. I'm far from being like you. The day will come when you won't be. Before this is all over, you have crossed the line multiple times. I'm going to take him to the isolation cell to teach him a little lesson, if that's okay with you. That sounds wonderful to me. Okay. Can we go in here? No, we cannot. Just want to explore a little bit, man. Alright, so, uh, when XR, oh, this doesn't look good. Hey, why did you stop? Walk. It has been a very nice meeting, friends, but it's time to say goodbye. Oh. What's wrong with that dust noir? Oh no. What, the cell doors have opened? What do we do now? We can't take them, there are too many of them. Quick, to the dining rooms. Oh, this is bad. So what happened, Cliff? No, I don't understand. The dust noir have started to open the cells. Can we trust the security personnel in this prison? Is there no one who could have betrayed us? So what are you saying? My men are the most loyal in the Pokemon world. Right now, they're trying to contain the prisoners. If Derringer manages to escape, we'll have a serious problem. We can't just stand here and do nothing. Voltsy and I will go out to fight. I'll take the corridors, Voltsy. Secure the courtyard area. If you need to heal your Pokemon or access the PC, talk to me. Okay. Right, are we going this way? This is the courtyard? Uh, can we catch Pokemon in here? Oh, we can. Get Pangoro. 
Not sure why you can find Pokemon here, <laughs> unless the yeah, um, the prisoners are like I don't know, fighting Pokemon or something. And that does like no damage. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go this way. Ayo, hey, hey you, you one of the guards? Well, I'm gonna take it out on you. Please don't. Oh my God. <laughs> level, uh, level 36 Perloin, that's fine. Ooh, air slash doing work. Oh, you got Pangoro, that's fine, that's fine. Take an air slash. Whee! Yeah, Safarion is definitely a special attacker. Don't want to be going for any physical attacks, does like no damage. Sup? It's about time someone did something about that, those Dos Noir. They won't let me think straight. Well, it's like they're helping you now, so... Is really that bad? Not bad. I get the flinch. I have not had a single flinch in this game, I don't think, yet. With all the bites and stuff I've done. Ancient power. Oh! Um... Doesn't Tangrove need ancient power to evolve? I feel like it does. Uh... Let me quickly check how to evolve... Tangler. I'm pretty sure it needs ancient power. Yeah. Tangler into Tangler is simple. You'll need your Tangler to learn move ancient power, which will be a, an option once you reach level 24. I mean, <laughs> not in this game. But yeah, so uh, let's put that down. Uh, I'll have to get rid of Mud Shot for now. And if I use a rare candy, will it. Oh no, it's over now. Sweet. Oh, there's Tangro finally. Let's go. I'm so glad I remembered that. Because honestly, until it tried learning ancient power, I was like, how do I evolve Tangler? I was thinking maybe it was like trade or something. And the moment, moment ancient power popped up, I was like, wait a second. I was like, that meme, like, wait a minute. <laughs> I actually look so good. Oh, I love this. Tangler was an absolute monster. And now having a Tangrowth. Woo. Look at it. Still got rough skin. That's all we need. Oh, I'm happy with this. Uh, we need a better ground type move. Do we have like uh, anything that we can teach? Like Earthquake would be. Oh, we got Bulldoze. That would do. I mean, like Earthquake would be so much better. Bulldoze right now. I'll take it. I'll take it. So I've taken advantage of my stay in prison to spend long periods of time in the gym. Check out the results of my training. Okay, let's see. Right a key. Let's go air slash. Wonder what would happen if, like, in the Pokemon world, if someone gets put in prison and they have Pokemon. Like, sure, they shouldn't be able to keep their Pokemon, so they could use that to potentially escape. I assume the Pokemon also get put in their own little, like, Pokey prison. <laughs> uh, triple thrust of the opponent that hits three times. Ooh, yes. Let's get that. And Gomino. <laughs> Just keep going Fire Fang. Nice. Went down. Way. So far, so good. Uh, that's where they're fighting them. I guess we just go down. Oh, Team Gatlin's here now. So we've come to free the great Derringer. Soon the good old days of Team Gatlin will be back. Alright, bring it on, man. Laron, uh, let's go. Bulldoze. Oh, you're gonna, uh... Just protect, that's fine. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy with Tangrowth. Like, I'm so down for, like, switching a lot of my team up, but I feel like Tangrowth is definitely going to be a permanent member. It's just been so good since I got it as a Tangler. This whole game, man, has been just amazing. Easy. All right. Now she got AO. How's it going? Give me a G. Give me an A. And what's next? Gatling. Uh, it's actually a T. Alright, you got Absol. Uh, for this. Woo. Damage is good. Maybe do you hit me? You're gonna take yourself out. Like the rough skin and rocky helmet combination is just it's just too good. Uh, Don Fan will stay in. Nice. And then the whirlwind should oh you can take yourself out, there you go. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, this Tangrowth, absolute monster. I probably should like revive. Um, don't have a revive. I was gonna say revive uh, Safarion, just get some experience. 
We have to buy Derringer some time to escape. I'll oh, stall you. All right. Um, yeah, let's just go. Got no, oh, I got no Bordeaux left. Oh, I guess because Ancient Power only had five PP. Oh, that sucks. It's all good. Got plenty of Pokemon to use. Right on. Yeah, I've got to say, like, I, I like Rhydon, but I'm not the biggest fan of Rhyperia. I think, like, Rhyperia looks cool, but I think this is one of the cases where I just think the when a Pokemon looks worse when it evolves. But Colt, my friend, you've done a terrific job at managing Team Gatlin during my captivity. It's been an honor, Great Derringer. I've brought your old partner to help you in your escape. Oh, Greninja. Ah, Greninja, I missed you so much. Is there anything else I can do for you? Buy me some time, will you? Take care of that young man. I'll do whatever it takes. You stay safe. Dust and rubble, Colt. Dust and rubble. Kid, you've got a long road ahead of you. You can bet we'll meet again. It's the last time we met, I wasn't ready. But now, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to give you, a, give you time to escape, Great Derringer. Alright, let's do this. What you got for us, Colt? Got a Salazzle. Oh, we're fully healed. Nice. All right, let's go Air Slash. Oh, I got the flinch out of him. So clutch. It's all good, it's all good. So Fire does a lot of damage. Hey, keep grading them levels. Luxray, we're definitely going to Tangrowth. Good for nice Bulldoze. Intimidate sucks, but it's fine, it's fine. And then you get a critical hit, and my defense went down. Yikes. Oh, oh we get a critical, critical hit right back. Oh, man, you love to see it. Yes. Oh, it's so good. All right, Delibird, let's go to Persian. Go for a nice uh, Fire Fang. Oh, I forgot, no, the Delibird's different in this game. It's fine, Ice Fang. And then we miss. Great. And we're probably gonna miss again because of Double Team. Oh, no, we landed it, nice. It's fine, no Ice Fang. Hey, Gotta love that Delibird. Skarmory, um, I guess we could stay in. So Team Gatlin doesn't give up just like that. I don't know, you just lose. You fail miserably. <laughs> Fire Fang, nice. I like the scum we had Rocky Helmet on. Like, it's cool to see, like, uh, the evil team using items. Did my best, my spirit will be at ease. Now you can take Derringer's place in the prison. So, where's Derringer? It's out of your reach. We'll get him, doesn't matter where he hides. You've done a good job, Voltsy. Well, we lost Derringer in exchange for capturing a bunch of members. Not a bad deal, either. You're going to have to pay the Piper for your boss. Uh, so I'm pissed off right now. Hey, Professor's here. Been able to find out something, Ibano? Today, the surprises don't stop. We examine the Dos Noir and they seem to be in a trance. As if they were not masters of their own will and had acted following orders like autom automatons. Do you think Derringer mentally manipulated the Dos Noir into opening the gates? That's impossible. Impossible or not, it doesn't matter. Now that we have captured Colt, if we find Derringer again, we'll have dismantled the entire leadership of these criminals. So what will be the next step? I have a meeting with a person in... Uh, Galanar City? He's promised to give me some valuable information on Team Gatlin, in exchange for some help. So much secrecy, isn't it? I guess those are the drawbacks of working for the government. Don't become like him, Volti. Try to retain your innocence. So what a low blow. So I'm still that boy you taught at the university. Remember the debate club? Those were good times. So I'm going to uh, Gallinary. Okay, it's got Y now. City, Voltsy, I hope. I imagine uh, you'll do the same if you want your sixth badge. Here's a small token for your service to the region, and now you can fly on the back of your Pokemon. Oh. I mean, I don't need it. It's got the Poker Rider, but you can now take two ways to get to Gallinary City from Ovalo Town or from Austral City. Okay. We got some more capsules. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, okay. Right. So, let's look at the Poker Rider. Uh, so we want to go here. I think going hmm so we can either go through Route 9, the short way, then we get to a poison- Either way, we're going to go through the Poisonous Swamp. 
We've got a Pokemon Nursery there as well. I think we should go north. Go up Route 12. Because then we can find this abandoned mansion. We can go up here. We can go to Bora Town. Find this like Holden Ranch and explore that. So yeah, I think we'll go north. So we get to explore lots more. So let's go to Austral City. Because that'll be a lot more fun. But this is probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we head north and we got a long, long trip to the Poisonous Swamp. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.